Your first comedian. Your first comedian tonight. Great comic. I've known him for years. He's been on the Tonight Show with, with Jay Leno. Let him hear it. Jamie Lisso. Thank you guys so much, man. This is, uh, thanks everybody for coming. If you guys hadn't come, this would be fucking weird. Uh, I love this club, man. It's got such a great, a great view. Um, I hope this goes well, because it's live, and it's like I always tell my friends, it goes better than it does. Uh, I was like, holy fucking proof out there. Um, Oh my goodness. This is where the other day I noticed if you watch all the Harry Potter movies back to back in order and really pay close attention, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> oh, it's just gorgeous out tonight. Um, <laughs> New York is a weird place. I hurt my finger the other day. And I had to go to the emergency room, and the doctor looked at it, and he goes, man, Jamie, that is a bad fracture, but it could be worse. And I go, really? And he goes, yeah, you could be a magician. And I said, what do you mean? Because I wouldn't be able to, like, hold the tricks and stuff? And he goes, no, no, man, it would just fucking suck to be a magician, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'd be a... Oh, man. So... That's cool. You guys laugh so hard. I just I was able to get rid of one of my jokes. Uh, fuck, yeah, I hated that one. I've been doing it for 11 years. Um, so I have a couple of kids back at the house, guys. Not in a weird way. I don't just have a couple of kids back at the house. That, that would be weird to admit that, you know. Um, but I do. I have two kids at home. And uh, sometimes people are like, Jamie, you have two kids. Do you have a favorite? Which is a ridiculous question, right? You know, obviously I do. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I would never say anything, you know, because it's weird because it's my neighbor's kid. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, this kid is so cute. I have a picture of him in my wallet. I used to live here. I, I used to live right in New York City, but it got too expensive for me. I had to live in a studio apartment. I don't know if everybody here knows what a studio apartment is. Basically, it's where you live in one room and you pretend like that's fucking okay. <laughs> that you... My friend came over, he was like, dude, here's your new apartment. Thought maybe you could show me around your place. <laughs> Which I don't know if you guys have ever given a tour of a studio apartment. But it always goes the same way. You know, you're like, okay, and right here we have the... And then you just start crying because your life is shit. <laughs> My friend goes, Jamie, you should put up a mirror on the wall. A giant mirror, and it'll make it look bigger. So I tried it, guys. I put up a giant mirror on the wall, and then it looked like there were two guys living in shitty apartments. <laughs> Two failures in matching pajamas. I'm like, oh my God, that guy's trying to hang himself too. I don't even know if I'm smart enough to live in New York. I remember I was here once and I was trying to do the New York Times crossword puzzle. Holy shit. Sometimes I didn't even have to read like the whole clue to figure out I wasn't gonna fucking get it. Okay. Damn it, it, was, it was like, what Portuguese? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I know one Portuguese thing. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to get that one if you let me write the rest of the question. So I have these kids, right, and um, 
do you know there's there's milestones you want your kid to hit when they're little? Like you want them to like crawl at a certain time, and then you want you want them to walk. That's important. But do you know there's this one I didn't know about that, that women usually know. Do you know the first milestone when they're a baby is you want them to like flip over, right? That's like a big thing when the baby flips over from front to back. That's a real thing. I didn't know that that was a thing, right? And my wife, when we had a baby, she goes one day she goes, Jamie, get in here. The baby Charlie is about to flip over, and I so I just. I just didn't even, didn't go in there, you know what I mean? I just didn't, why would I go in there to see? So I just stayed watching TV, and then she comes in, and she seemed, she seemed, I, I don't want to use the word agitated, because it's not strong enough, uh, but she goes, you missed it, Charlie flipped over, and you, you missed it, and I go, who gives a fuck? That's what I said without thinking. I said, who gives a fuck? And then she looked at me so angry. I said, no, 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 I mean like a cheer, like, who gives a fuck? I do, yeah. That's a real thing, you guys, to flip over. I remember my, my wife's friend was over once and they were all worried because she was like, oh man, Cindy is almost nine months old and she hasn't, she hasn't flipped over yet, you know? And I, I was like, yeah, I don't think, Fucking matters, you know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but I don't think I don't think it matters. And she was like, "Well, how do you know?" And I go, "No, I'm just saying, Cindy, you know, she might not be doing it now, but she'll be, she'll be fine. <laughs> she'll be fine." And but she says to me, and she goes, "Well, how do you know? You're not a doctor." And I go, "Well, here's how I know. Uh, all of us in this room, you know, we don't like know someone at work." that can't fucking flip over. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like we all learn to, to do it. You don't like go to the beach and there's a guy like, I can't flip over. I never, I never learned to do this. Guys, I never, help, I'm burning on the one side. It's weird having a little girl, too, because there's going to be talks we're going to have to have and stuff. There's boys are going to come over. She's going to get, you know, tits or whatever. And uh, <laughs> you're not supposed I probably won't use the word tits, you know, but it's... Uh, but what I thought was I was thinking a great idea would be to just teach my daughter to give the best hand job in the world. And, uh, well, no, like, I wouldn't teach... Hold on. Hear me out here, guys. <laughs> I think you should just give me a second on this one. Uh... Well, all I'm saying is a hand job. Think of all the good things that come from a hand job. Okay, there's no, there's no baby. That's why they call that a happy ending because there's no baby, and there's no diseases. Okay, listen, guys. I'm just saying that I don't want my daughter to end up on one of those MTV shows. You know what I mean? There's no MTV show called 16 with cum on my hand. You know what I mean? There's no, right? Oh, you know. It's cool, it's live, because I couldn't even edit that out if they want. Um, it was weird. I was in Alabama a, a few weeks ago, and uh, is anybody from there? Because I'll change it. Um, it was a wonderful place, though, but after the show, this one gay came up to me, he was like, uh, he was like, hey, man, you know, I never heard of a studio apartment until you mentioned it, and we talked for a little while, and he asked me how much I paid, and I told him, and he was like, dude, you're a fucking idiot. That's what he told me. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? And he goes, do you realize for that much money here in Alabama, you could literally live in a 10-bedroom house on about 100 acres of land? And I was like, I know, man, but the only problem is out the front door, Alabama is there. <laughs> My name's Jamie Lister. You guys have been so much fun. Thank you very much. <laughs>